This is James Holder for IFL TV. I'm in the Pro SW gym today in Loughton. With me, I've got professional trainer Jason Rowland. How are we doing, Jase? Yeah, good, thanks. That's what I like to hear, that's what I like to hear. Some good sparring in the gym today, some good foxes in. Looks like it's a good place to be working. Yeah, it's okay, Lenny Dawes um, and Richard Comey. Good spa, good eight rounds it was. Um, bit of wrestling there. Bit of, uh, yeah, no, it come out all right, in, as it happens. Come out all right. First time I've got a look, uh, chance to have a look at Richard Comey. I'm fortunate enough to see Lenny quite a lot, but first time I look at Richard, what do you make of him? Yeah, very talented, very talented, long arms, he's got very awkward, very fit as well, but he's got ability everywhere, um, Richard, and uh, he punches a bit as well, so um, he give any lightweight a problem in this country, I'd say. Hmm. And it all seems to get stronger as the fights go on, as the yeah. fights go on, he settles a bit more, doesn't he? Yeah, that was his first bar, they're just saying, he just done eight, eight good rounds there, and he come better towards the end, like you just said. Um, he's good work rate, Lenny, he always has done, so he give anyone problems. Just coming on to your camp at the moment, a huge setback and disappointment for Tony Conquest on Saturday. Um, how's Tony holding up? How's he doing? Um, I've not spoke to him, he's okay. Um, yeah, just a bit down, the old camp's a bit down at the moment. Um, it was not going to plan, but it was, well, I, th I thought we was nicking it. Um, oh, well, he got caught in the third, but he got up okay. Bill saved, well, not saved us, but he came out of the fourth, he, he won the fourth, I thought. Um, yeah, we won the first, second and fourth, we got put down in the third, and obviously the fifth, um, people say it was a legal shot, but you can get warned with a shot like that, but then you can get knocked out of a shot like that, so it's, it's, it's a bit weird, you know, but um, I'll talk to Tony if he's up for a, well, a rematch or something like that, then hopefully we can push on that, um, yeah, I, can't, I don't know what's going to happen now with him. I was just going to ask you that, where does he go from here? So obviously he was, there was talk of him moving up uh, to fight uh, John Lewis Dickinson for the British. So yeah, that I, fight seems to be on hold now. Yeah, I think Dickinson's going to give it up and go the European route, which is entitled to. Right yeah, now, he's won it out right, he's entitled to, really. Hopefully he get a couple of paydays on that. Um, yeah, and we was going to fight, whether it was Askins or, or someone else, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to talk to Tony and see. It's, it's up to Tony, see how much he wants it now. Um, here's a little setback. Yeah. He, um, that's all we can say. You've got to learn from it. You've got to take something away from it. I was a good puncher. We all know that. Um, Trains out the peacock. They keep him nice and fit. Uh, yeah, just didn't go to plan. Coming on to someone else in the camp, Mitchell Smith. Um, oh, fantastic, yeah. fantastic prospect and someone who really knocking on the door. He's, he's just vacated his southern area title. Bit of a setback again for her, the knee injury, hurting himself away from boxing. Could you talk to me about that? A bit? Yeah, it was only two weeks to go, and he's been looking well as it happens. He um, after his last fight, he's come straight in the gym. He's got no weight problems. Um, he may come down to to, uh, to nine stone featherweight. Um, he's happy where he is for a while. If we can go and nick that, well, win that win that English. Peter Coates a nice nice opponent. Good southpaw. One all nine fights out of nine. Um, I don't think he's in Mitchell's ability, um, in Mitchell's class. Uh, yeah, if we can go and grab that and see what happens afterwards, and if Mitchell can do nine stone, we're knocking on the door for British title straight away, I'd say, because there won't be no one to touch him at nine stone, I'll tell you that now. So. I think for his height, he would be a, a bit more of a dangerous fighter at nine stone. <sighs> every, every fight he has, they're more or less taller than him. He, he does cope with bigger people. Um, mm. Nine stone, he'd be lethal as long as he does the weight all right. If he does, the, if he carries his power at nine stone, no one will be touching him in Europe. Would be, I don't say no names, but I can't see anyone touching him in Europe. I can't. Will you guys look now to make the Peter Cope fight again? Is that something? That's yeah, I think fight? that's going to happen. That's still going to happen. Um, he's, like, like I say, he twisted his knee. Um, he can punch. He can go in straight lines. Just when he twists, like, obviously he twists his knee. So, a couple of weeks, he should be alright relocated him to a train a house a training camp somewhere he can just go to get away from everyday pressures and be focused on his training how how good of a move is that for Mitchell Smith it's excellent really um at home he had four kids around him um you know what they're like he's picking sweets yeah. and bits and pieces hard not to have a few now and then but <laughs> he's got a good sponsor around him Paul Winters who helps us out it helps him out dearly uh He's living with him, so they're, they're cracking on, they're doing really well. His brother's sort of joined the cat, like, joint over here, and uh, got beat the other day, funny enough, but he left it a little bit late for training for the ABAs. Um, 
Yeah, it's all good for him. He just lives that far now, so that's all good. Last word on Miles Shinkwin, how's he progressing? Yeah, he's uh, improving. Miles, he's just settling down, just got to keep on him, he's settling down nice and he's going to turn out a good kid if he keeps progressing the way he is. He's going to turn out a very good kid. He's got the ability, he's got world-class speed, foot movement, he's just got to settle down. When I came into the gym today, I was quite surprised to see how many top coaches there were in the gym. Yourself, uh, Jim McDonald, Ian Burbage, Mickey mm. Amu was well floating about. Yeah, he's just on the marathon, isn't he? It's like a coach meeting, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, just told him he's got to go and have another run, loosen them legs out. <laughs> he can't hardly walk. <laughs> what but do yeah, you guys, no, good, What it? do you guys talk about when you're amongst yourselves, like all the coaches and that? Well, what's happened the weekend, I suppose, with Pac-Man and, and Bradley or something like that. You know, it's just boxing every week, really, especially in Box Nation. Yeah. It's every week, so if there's a good fight, we'd, we'd sit and talk, we'd like talk about them. So. Yeah. What did you make of Pac-Man Bradley? Yeah, he's, uh, it was a terrific fight to watch. Same old pattern, though. I wouldn't want him to have a third, really, because you know, you might just know the outcome now. Um, yeah. I don't think it benefits him, yeah. any of them. Um, but yeah, he's still got it. He's still a class fighter. Moves too much in... He bounces about too much for, for my liking. But um, tough, tough fight. Very tough fight. All right, Jay. Well, listen, thanks for giving me a bit of time today. No problem. It's good thanks to get in much. the gym and have a look. You've got great facilities to use here, must say. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. It's good, good old gym. Good, good old, old gym, gym yeah. indeed. And uh, hopefully we'll catch you up again real soon. Pretty soon. Yeah, nice one, James. Thanks, Thanks, mate. See you soon, mate.